All right, we've made it here. I've updated my quick select bar. Let's unleash unfathomable hell upon our enemies. That seems to be the best idea I can possibly think of to the missile cruiser, eh? Fine, let's go. I saw water and I know that we could probably go down there. I chose not to. Yes, submit to me. Overkill? Possibly, but do I care? Nope. Okay, well then again, maybe I should start caring. Well, that's not good. Okay, fine. We'll play it your way game and we'll use the hollow guys. Ugh. I'd much rather use my never ending pool of freaking rocket launcher ammo, but okay. Sure. Open up, you stupid robot. And now die. Thank you. Okay, and we will move on our merry little way. The wonderful thing is all that spare bolts I picked up in that glitch will be able to fund all of my, uh, you know, ammo rechargings that I'm gonna need. Alright, die, stupid dogs. Ain't got time for you. <laughs> Nine missiles. That's the perfect amount. That's, I mean, six missiles, that wouldn't be enough. And ten missiles, now you're just getting a little bit overkill. But nine, the perfect amount. Any more robots? No? Okay, cool. Ain't gonna deal with that nonsense anymore. And again, it's like, you just see these crates, and you gotta break them. You can't just leave them be. You have to destroy them, no matter how much you don't need money anymore. Yeesh. That's a, that's a really bad habit to need to break. Okay, am I gonna need to use that stupid hollow guys again? Or can I just blow things up? Because that was the entire idea of picking up this thing. Who cares? I'm blowing them up. I am gonna bother with that crap. Yeah, you could use the hollow guys and very sneakily trick your way through this entire station. Or you could blow everything up and not give any dangs. Oh, hi. Did you want some of my missiles? Because I have plenty to spare. Yeesh. Okay. Ah. Uh, oh, okay, so sometimes they got the force fields that you need to use. Okay, hi. Oh, okay. Don't. No, no. No, I am but a humble robot. Don't you see? I am a little roboty pal. I am in no way in the disguise, and I am not attempting to lure your defenses so that I may shoot you in the face with my atomic rocket launcher. Oh, wait, maybe I am. Ha! Huh? Okay, now you're dead. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. This is definitely doing wonders for my anger problems. Ugh, when in doubt, get a bigger gun. Okay, I don't, I don't know what those things are over there, but they're gonna die. Okay, bust out that swing shot. Viola! And more explosions! Overkill! It's the best kind of kill. Ugh. Anything else? Oh, you guys want more, eh? Very well. Bring it on, fiends! And they're homing missiles, too. It's like, oh, wait, one thing blew up, then I'll just move on to the next thing. Don't mind me. Oh, crud. Quickly, don your disguise! And even though I was disguised as... I, 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 like, I put my costume on in front of that guy. He saw me change. But he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, fine. You're just, you're just another robot? Okay. And then I blow up your face. I don't know what all these teleporters are leading me to, but I've earned a skill point. And that's all that really matters. Maybe that's the don't give a damn skill point. It's just like, go nuts. All right, well, dang it. Fine, bring out another freaking hollow guys again. Oh wait, no. That's a, I don't think that's something we can just get through. Yeah, there is no robot over there, but there is a zero G, a zero air environment. Luckily, Ratchet magically teleported his O2 helmet onto his face, so that's always good. Now, hey, look, Veldon. Looks lovely this time of year. I don't suppose I could. No, I can't use any of my weapons. I just gotta dodge the laser fire. Very well, game. I'll play your, I'll play your sick and tit, bleh, your sick and twisted game of cat and mouse. Wait. What just happened? I can't move. Oh, okay, that was weird. For a second there, I literally couldn't move. I couldn't. Oh. Mental note, I guess those are instant kill. Okay, so that's good to know. <laughs> no, that was weird. I like, I pushed all the buttons and none of them made Ratchet move anymore. That's weird. Okay then, well, let's not get hit by those things then. They are not very friendly apparently, wow. I was expecting damage, but I wasn't expecting instant death. Okay, I'm guessing I need to go this away. Yeah, that seems sensible. <laughs> when lasers can kill you in one hit, perhaps you should, you know, try and find an alternative route. That might be a smart idea. Ooh, a ship! We can fly and blow stuff up. Yes! Yes, oh, accidentally launched a missile. Forgot which button was my machine gun. Ah, here we go, we blow up this nonsense. I will have none of this and destroy you. I'll destroy you. And you know what, for good measure, I think I'll blow you up too. Oh, I don't want to leave your friends out of the equation, you know? Sometimes you just gotta blow up your friends. 
There we go. And these guys seem to want to add a little bit into the fun. Very well. I'd be more than happy to oblige in blowing up you and everyone you care about. Oh, okay, well, apparently we blew up and just sort of suspended in space for a little while. That was a little weird. <laughs> okay, let's not do that. I got a little careless. I got a little cocky. I admit that. I'm not proud of it. I just wanted to feel cool for a minute. And it worked. Oh, did it work. Okay, blow that thing up before we take too much damage. Yeah, all right. Pick up a health crate. That's exactly what I wanted. I'll blow you up too. I don't know who you are, but you're dead now. Okay. Oh, hey, would you like to give me some missiles? No, you'd like to give me a health pack. That's good, too, I suppose. Okay, it's, it's not that I don't appreciate the health packs. I could just really use missiles right now is all. Yeah, back off, Blargian. Whoa, that's a that's an absolutely absurd amount of missiles. In fact, I think that might be too many missiles. And I'm not one to usually say something like that. Blow up everything. Yes. I blow up your face. I blow up your face. I blow up everybody's face. Okay. You want to start something, dude? There, okay. I hope you're happy. You've accomplished what you set out to do, which I assume is die, because that's what you just did. Yeesh. Now die, everybody. There, mission completed. Good. Now you don't have to worry about those instant kill missiles anymore. Or energy blasts, or whatever they are. I don't know. Really, it doesn't matter. The point is they've been destroyed, and I don't have to worry about them anymore. It's definitely going to cripple your ship a little bit. That's for sure. <sighs> I just realized we're climbing upside down, but then again, we're in space, so upside down is kind of relative, isn't it? Anyway, okay, come on. Yeah, okay. Now, please, please, no. Please bring me back inside. It would be very kind of you. I'd also like to enjoy some lovely oxygen. Yes, thank you. Okay, wait patiently for it. When are you going to let us go? Yeah, okay, we're going to, we're still upside down. Very well. This seems like the type of thing that could, not sure how I let that hit me. It seems like the type of thing that doesn't need to be upside down, but I guess the game knows better than I do, so let's just keep on marching. Come along, children. We've got work to do. Is this going to reorient me? Because that would be nice. I'd like to use my rhino some more. The rhino, the ultimate death dealer. And nothing can compare to it. As you will soon find out. Yeah. As soon as I unleash this thing on Druck's stupid face. Tonight on Blonde TV, the event you have all been waiting for, the total annihilation of an entire planet! Witness the power, the destruction, and the nothingness that follows. So join Ultimate Supreme Executive Chairman Drek as he pushes the button that ends one world and begins another. Then, stay tuned for the galaxy's funniest superhero bloopers featuring Captain Quark. Now we know where he is. Let's get him. And there we go. I mean, we knew he was on Velden, but now we we have the specifics. We know exactly where he is now, which is good. But that raises a question. What's all this water for? Was that literally the only thing we had to do here? No, there was not. We need to swim through the water tanker. That is what I thought. Okay, guys, we're not done yet. <sighs> One more excursion in the water, I guess. I mean, one more can't hurt, I guess. And at the very least, I have my rhino now, so... I guess everything's gonna be better. Now it's mi Now I'm literally swimming through hoops. This game's got me jumping through hoops. That's absurd. Come on, you definitely need the hydro pack for this. Okay, open up that door. Whatever secrets lay in wake for us. Lay in wake? Lie in wake. Blech. I ain't no good at this. Oh, crud! The water's only temporarily unelectrified. Now we got—we only have a one minute to get the... Oh! Okay. Okay. The saw blades? I get that. The mines? I totally understand that too. But do they really need to be electrified saw blades? I mean, I think you get your point across. They're pointy and you don't want people going through them. They don't really need to taser you too. That seems a little overkill. Okay. Whoops. Swam into a mine. Now, I guess I was in the exact position where I couldn't see that. Or I'm just unobservant. Either are possible. Okay, come on. I'm totally mission impossibling this thing. Yeah, out of the way, you no good freaking stuff. I'm surprised I haven't gotten hit by one of those of fan blades yet. I haven't. Ah, oh. You know, I really should have known that would happen as soon as I said that. Okay. I guess I kind of wanted to tempt fate a little bit. Everybody wants to at least every now and then. Okay. How many of these things do you need? Yes, what are you doing down here? 
Whatever it is, I can assure you, you don't need this many blades. Uh, and I only got 16 more seconds before everything goes kablooey. Hurry up. Hurry up. A thing. I want a thing. Give me thing. And I picked up a code bot. What the hell is a code bot? Gadtron code bots are necessary for operating or for opening in con in invincible invi impossible to open vaults. There is always one code bot for each vault and therefore a code bot can only be used once. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to just go ahead and assume that that's all that there is to do. Yes, we return to the launch bay. <sighs> Okay, it took me far longer than I had planned, and I got much more frustrated than I thought. I thought this was going to be a very relaxing and therapeutic episode, just full of missiles and the like. But apparently, things have only gotten more and more intense. <sighs> Join me, everyone, in the next part. We fly to Velden, and we confront Chairman Drek. I'll see you guys then.